brought hope in the lives of wounded soldiers in the Crimean War. At the age of 16, she experienced one of the several calls from God. She viewed her particular calling as reducing human suffering. Nursing seemed the suitable route to serve both God and humanity. Nurses are the most privileged people who can turn the human suffering into a purifying experience. If I were to sing a song, I would do it for the nurses, frontline warriors who have risked their lives during these COVID months, draped with a PP kit for many hours only to alleviate suffering and save life, risking one's own life, and so to the bold and the beautiful. Yours is a noble profession which actually does not have retirement. Rosie Williams wrote, to do what nobody else will do, a way that nobody else can do, in spite of all we go through, and that is to be a nurse. In the situation when everyone stands hands off, the nurses still have their hands busy, saying, I am needed here. For care is still needed when the cure is unavailable. With the increase in numbers of elderly patients and rising long-term conditions such as diabetes, heart diseases and other ailments, it means the spotlight is more on care rather than cure. Patients usually want to see their doctor for immediate medical concerns, but as nurses, you play a huge part in patient care mainly because you are the ones who have regular contacts with patients, their families and the caregivers. You announce before giving a prick that it hurts a little, but you reassure that it is a small pain. Sometimes finding the vein in a flabby body becomes truly a great discovery, like Christopher Columbus discovering America charting the unknown possibilities of existence. While for Columbus the compass needle gave the direction to navigate the ship in rough waters, you try to patiently maneuver the needle itself to navigate the vaccine into the Red Canal. Remember nurses, you are warriors fighting against the evil of suffering and pain. You cannot drive the pain away. You can only reduce it. Florence Nightingale said, It may seem a strange principle to enunciate as the very first requirement in a hospital that it should, it should do the sick no harm. So too, it is the first requirement that you decide today, today itself, that you would do the sick no harm as their fragile life is put in your hands. Therefore, as warriors, put on the PP kit, God gives you, PP kit of goodness and nobility, that you may be able to stand against all sorts of evil desire to harm the vulnerable. Stand having fastened on the belt of truth and giving and having the apron of righteousness and as shoes for your feet, having put on the readiness to serve. In all circumstances, put on the headgear of truth and a pleasant smile as the face mask and carry the vaccine of an encouraging word and the ointment of compassion. Watch the tone of your words and listen to your voice to make it tender, full of music. Remember always that your smile has great soothing power and your touch heals the sick. However, remember one great truth that suffering too has a great educative value. It is life's best teacher. What one learns through suffering, one does not learn from any other source. And therefore, you have to be like a tuition teacher to facilitate the student to learn at home from the best teacher, suffering itself. 
use one effective method personal contact by personal contact you enter into the lives of others in order to understand and to love them contact between one person and another and heart to heart exchange are the secret of perseverance and success you have only one important work your duty it cannot be described as big or small because when you are performing your duty you are going to do the work of your heavenly father who has determined that this is the work that you alone are called to perform to carry out his plan in history performance of your duty is the simplest path of virtue which you can follow and as nurses trained in father mullers you have to spread the sweet aroma of renown of this noble institution graduating from father mullers itself is the trump card for your future recognition as you launch into the practical world you are our advertisement good things do not require advertisements goodness is self diffusive it diffuses itself automatically and you are going to carry that goodness around remember you are the heart of the health care yours is the noblest profession in the house of medicine we recognize you by your dress it is clean and white sign of purity and charity you wear one uniform and speak one language charity love let your hearts be full of charity love when your hands compassionately touch the patients in fact you have the immense privilege of touching the body the mind and spirit to bring healing and comfort to the sick and suffering today as i thank you for choosing father mullers i congratulate you i felicitate you i thank you sincerely and especially i thank your teachers and all the auxiliary staff and more especially the patients who allowed you to learn from them i thank your parents as you do today i wholeheartedly thank the director and the whole administration the governing board the members of the managing committee and everyone who has made your life comfortable beginning from the chapel the cafeteria the classrooms the laboratories the simulation center up to the hospital ward and finally your home or your room in the hospital one last word from mother teresa god does not require that we be successful only that we be faithful be faithful to god and humanity and success will follow and it will follow you like a shadow may god bless you all god bless you